Hi guys, I'm sorry for the jiggery in the camera. My front facing camera for some reason is not working. Hi guys, let me greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, today is the 28th, I think or the 29th of July 2016. Guys, I'm coming to you today because the Lord has laid uh, another ministry on my heart. And I, I, I always thought that my ministry was visions, dreams, revelation, fellowship and praying with you, brothers and sisters in the Lord. But for the past three weeks, the Lord has put uh, something in my spirit that I cannot shake. And it's the auction of giving. I have this compassion of giving, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, recently, and I think it's the Lord's doing, I'm not going to dismiss it because it coincide with how I felt and for some reason there's a I want to say an influx but there's an increase of brothers and sisters in the Lord uh, that's really 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 struggling ladies and gentlemen very poor uh, that's been asking and I've been giving out of my own pocket and I know another brother as well uh, that has been given as well out of his pocket and it sometimes it can be a little bit hard when we do it on our own and you know yes we've got that spiritual need where people do need the Word of God and we feed them the Word of God but equal there's a physical need for some people or just unfortunate ladies and gentlemen that do not have it and you know although Christ Jesus the king when he was on earth he spiritually fed people and that's why he had an influx of crowd because they were so fed with the word but equally you know people around him was poor and God did not ignore them I mean take a look when he did uh, that sermon it and uh, 5,000 people followed him and they had nothing. Why, did, why didn't they bring anything? Because they were more concerned with uh, hearing Christ speak. And so these people got hungry and, and the Lord provided five loaves of bread and two fishes and he fed the multitude and food was left over. So there's a need for, for the physical aspect for us to reach out and help our brothers and sisters that's in need. And I'm here today, guys, because I'm asking for money. I'm begging. <laughs> I know, I feel, yeah. I'm asking, guys, for you to help me. Now, I've got a PayPal account. And if you're willing to give my email address, because I think you only need an email address for PayPal, it's thomascarrion at yahoo.co.uk. That is thomas, T-H-O-M-A-S, K-E-R-R-Y, a -N -N at yahoo.co.uk guys if you want to partner with me and help me to reach out to this orphanage i've got some some orphanage uh that i'm looking after i've got personal people that i'm that i'm helping because they have nothing when you and i have clean water when you and i can find bread and butter to go to bed these people cannot find it you know and we can look and say oh well you know they're getting pregnant every day but until that day comes where we co well, when the pregnancy is controlled in all these countries pakistan africa caribbean uh the third world country we you know if you've got it to help don't turn a blind eye you know your money your car, your house, your savings, you cannot take it to heaven anyway. You know, so if you have the heart of giving, ladies and gentlemen, then then do give. You know, help. And I'm, and I'm asking you for your help. I'm begging you to please partner with me uh, on Facebook. I have a page called... Uh, money for the poor and needy and in this group page ladies and gentlemen every transaction all the account is on the page I, I put it on because people need to know where the money is going and every money that I send to these poor and needy people whatever balance is left on the page